What up, bros? Bruh, bruh, what up? We got a new gasket. That's for my trans pan. We gotta go replace that real quick. And a bucket. And inside the bucket are some things. Because buckets are great for holding things. To save the fluid in the trans but my bucket just like barely reaches and I'm not gonna be able to get it out so I'm gonna have to like pull it out the back of the car notice my burno marks on the floor while the car is in the air I'm actually gonna put my street tires on for it now because I want to go take it to a car meet later Okay, what I do plan on doing is very simple. I'm just gonna use a brand new gasket and I'm gonna skim it on both sides of the RTV. Um, I do plan on getting a better pan. You guys actually recommended getting like a cast pan instead of this stupid, just sheet metal style thing. Yes. And it's not like, it's not that I'm not listening to you. It's just, I don't wanna put any more money in the car this year. So this pan's gonna do for one more rental. I'm just gonna make sure it seals up. Woohoo! Getting high in here! Getting high! Fucking kids. Shiny clean! The Turbski 400! All old oil. Gross. I had this thing and it just slides over the end of the, the tube. And then you can just roll the tube. It's like... Super convenient. See? Find one of these. It's the best thing ever. Plus, I think my hole is a little bit too small. <laughs> yeah, this hole's gotta be a little bit too small. That's what she said. I'm just gonna thread a couple of bolts in it to line the gasket. I'm gonna let this like tack up a little tiny bit before I put it on. And that'll just make it so it doesn't like squeeze and ooze into the middle. So the gasket should seal it by itself and then the sealer should seal any like higher low points. It's all, it's all back in place. The line's adjusted. So now I'm gonna move the engine diaper while like the RTV cures and then I'll fill up the trans. And I have a big mess on the floor. This is probably the worst part about all of it because the dipstick fill place is so damn small and it scares me. Oh boy. I'm gonna make a mess in that engine diaper that I just put in. What are the chances this thing's gonna start? It's on ethanol, so not likely. I need a battery pack. My battery's bullshit. What the fuck? I'm gonna go ahead and throw this stuff on because it looks sexy. Ugh. Can't. This is supposed to go under the tube. <laughs> Do you even run ethanol, bro? This piece and this piece. It just cleans up the bay real nice. Sexy. Okay, we'll try this again. Wish me luck. Okay, one more tip and trick. So ethanol is like really weird to well, E98 specifically is so E98 specifically is really hard to cold start um, because it doesn't atomize under E85, I believe. So it's not making a miss like it should. But here's a tip to get it warm because it won't start unless it's warm. So 
We're gonna go over here on this side. Uh, yep. And we're gonna take this propane bottle and we're gonna put you here. And we're gonna take off this vacuum line. And because I don't have a line that fits perfectly, we're just gonna use this line. And we're gonna make that fit in this hole. So it's kind of sealed on there. And then put this one on the propane hole. Open this. Pour some propane in the intake. Voila, it works. Oops. And now it should fire up right away. So as I was saying, um, I have to check that dipstick back there, which is in a very bad position because the hood exit is right there. And I just get a face full of ethanol and it's hard to breathe and it hurts my life. I'm gonna take the skinnies off here real quick. Um, and then I think I'm gonna take you guys for a drive because I don't think I've actually taken you guys for a proper drive in the daylight. I'll show you how the ECU reads stuff. I'll show you how the trans brake works and then maybe a little tiny street pull. I don't like driving the car on the street because it is it is a menace and I don't want to lose my license or anything like that. That's why I kind of dedicate it to a track car. So yeah, cool. Now what I need to do is I need to change when my nitro shuts off. So, so I should change this to 30 because you have to add one bar for atmospheric pressure so it should shut off at 15 pounds. I'll actually like do a log and stuff and then I can bring up the log and I'll show you guys what I know and, and how competent I am with this. I'm not like a tuner by any means, but I can show you what I know and how to change the simple things that I change at the track in order for me to get off the line and get down the track without spinning and shit. So I'm actually gonna pump some more ethanol in this thing cause it's kind of empty. What I did was I set up one camera up here on the thingy on the windshield pointing at me. And then I have a GoPro sitting up here by the speedometer, pointing at speedometer. Try this again. And anytime that I go to do something on the computer, I'm just gonna pull the GoPro off and point it at the computer so I can just kind of overlay the videos. Pretty neato. Except it turns on my windshield wipers. because I'm not opening the nitrous bottle, what are you talking about? Why is it so dark? Stop that. that I just did, well, it wasn't actually a log, but that hole that I just did, it's actually stored in the ECU, which is a kind of nice benefit of having a standalone ECU. Now I'm about to show you exactly why I don't like to drive this car on the streets. That's why. What the fuck? to die in this thing. If there's anything cool there, I'll swap another battery in and show you guys. But for now, peace easy.